At a quick glance, you might think that this is just a normal motorcycle, but look closer and you'll see that it's actually something special. This is the Harley-Davidson Livewire, the company's first electric motorcycle, and it's this thing that's going to drag Harley into the future. I first rode the prototype of this five years ago, and today we find out whether the production bike was worth the wait. All right, so I've been riding the Harley Livewire for most of the day so far, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I've been lucky to ride a lot of EVs over the years. The majority of them have felt a little bit rough around the edges, but this thing is remarkably polished. Everything from the throttle response, which is perfect, to the overall fit and finish, which is remarkably good. Of course, you would expect it to be remarkably good, given this bike costs just about $30,000. Yes, it is very expensive, but then Harley-Davidson is a premium brand, so you would expect to pay a premium. What do you get for that premium? Well, you get a very well-built electric motorcycle. You get Showa suspension, front and rear, with adaptive compression and rebound. Big piston forks up front, too, which is nice. Brembo brakes, and frankly, just a lot of nice hardware that all looks and feels good to touch. The bike, I think, looks very good. And the most important thing of the styling of this bike to me is that this is unabashedly electric bike. This doesn't look anything like any other Harley Davidson on the road, or frankly, any other motorcycle on the road. There isn't like a, a fake carburetor hanging off the side. There's no fake exhaust, no big cooling vanes or anything like that, that this thing is trying to pose as if it were a gasoline motorcycle. This thing is electric. You can see the electric motor hanging right off the bottom. And that doesn't look like anything else on the road. And I give full credit to Harley Davidson for not trying to make this thing look like a fat boy or any other cruiser or anything like that. This thing is distinctive, and I genuinely like the way it looks. The ergonomics are good. It's more in the sport bike mold than a traditional Harley in that my feet are up and high and kind of behind me. But the handlebar is also quite high, so I'm sitting more or less upright. So it's kind of a, a mix between your traditional Harley stance and more of a sporty ride, but ultimately it's quite comfortable. I could do a lot of miles on this thing. How many miles? Well, that may be the road for a lot of people. You're gonna look at about 140 miles of range in this bike, but that's if you're riding over speed in the city, in town, that kind of thing. Get up on the highway, you're gonna probably see less than 100. So you won't necessarily be going very far on a charge, but the good news is that this is one of the few motorcycles that supports DC fast charging. So in an hour, you can get a full charge if you have a level three charger. Or you can get about 80% in just 40 minutes. So that's pretty good. You can even see running in to make a quick toilet break, and probably you could pick up 20, 30 miles in that time, which is not too bad. But again, this is not gonna be a bike that you're probably gonna wanna ride coast to coast. More of a Sunday cruise on some favorite roads, down to the coffee shop, turn some heads, get some people asking what the heck is that thing. That's really what this bike is all about. And for that, I think it's really, really good, especially in town. This thing's got so much torque down low. You can squirt from one light to the next, blast by people, just have a lot of fun without having to go into triple digit speeds. And of course, I can't let you go without talking about the sound of this thing. For many, the allure of a Harley Davidson begins with the sound, and if that's you, you're probably going to have a bit of a hard time getting your head around this. And I don't blame you one bit. I've owned a number of motorcycles over the years and I've loved the sound of them all. But I've also learned to love the peace of riding in near silence. Whether I'm cruising or corner carving, less noise for me means less stress and a greater ride. That said, the live wire isn't totally silent. It lets off a distinctive whine from its beveled gears that Harley has clearly tuned carefully. It doesn't sound unlike all the other EVs on the market, but where they seem to echo that noise from hollow fairings and everywhere else, here that sound is far more pure and, for me, far more engaging. I love it. And what about the rest of the bike? Was it worth the wait? Honestly, I'm not sure what took Harley-Davidson five years to build this thing, but to be fair, I'm not sure the market was ready for something like this five years ago. Honestly, I'm not sure the market's ready for something like this today. The big question is whether the company's dealerships can fairly represent this thing and truly lure in the very different kind of buyer who's going to be interested in something like this over a Sportster or a Road King or whatever else. I sincerely hope so because the bike is great. EVs are the future and I'm really glad to see such a historic brand getting with the program.